The task of a multi-packer is to pack a specific number of products into a box, for example. Let's take a closer look at the process. The multi-packer first needs a box to put the products into. The blanks are ready and waiting in the magazine. There are several ways of preparing the box. Option 1. Ready-made folding boxes are erected in a similar way to the boxes that are used when moving house. The remaining walls of the box can be glued together or can be inserted or hooked into each other. This method is often used for small boxes such as the ones used for blister packs in the pharmaceutical industry. Option 2. A vacuum cup removes the pre-folded blank from the magazine and sets it down. As it is being fed into the machine, glue valves apply a line of glue to the box, which then comes to a halt underneath the erector punch. While the glue is still hot, the erector punch forces the box through the die. The box is now in the correct shape and has been glued. There are a number of quality considerations when erecting boxes. For one thing, the glue must be applied with extreme precision to maximize the stability of the box and minimize the amount of glue used. For another, the box must not be damaged. To prevent tearing, the punch's contact with the box must be perfectly synchronized. It's also important for the box to be straight and retain its shape because crooked and damaged boxes cannot be sold. The finished box is now transported on for packing. A further conveyor belt feeds the products into the multi-packer. To speed up further processing, the products are then normally pre-grouped into individual layers or the contents of an entire box, for example. The grouped products now need to be put into the prepared box. Robot kinematic models are a popular choice for this operation, a tripod robot, for instance. It is flexible and can meet specific customer requirements relating to the insertion of products. When loading takes place from above, the system is called a top loader. However, products can also be pushed into the box from the side in a system called a side loader. Once all the products have been packed into the box, it is usually closed using a lid. A separate lid can be placed on the box or the lid can be formed from the blank and glued in place. The finished container is now transported away. The next step depends on the purpose of the box. If serving as presentation packaging, it undergoes further processing in the palletizing section, for example. If the box is the packaging that is being used for shipping, it goes straight to the logistics section. The main steps of erecting, packing, and closing the box are often split into separate machine modules. This ensures excellent flexibility when it comes to handling different box shapes and packaging materials. Speed, flexibility, and precision are particularly important aspects of a multi-packer during every step of the process. Regardless of whether drive technology is needed to erect, pack, close, or transport boxes, SEW EuroDrive offers the ideal hardware and software solutions fully powered by SEW EuroDrive.